better protect people and the environment was one of the key phrases I pulled out of your last news release about your patent application granted by the Canadian Intellectual Property Office. How about we start there, Greg? Sure, I'd love to, Tracy. Thank you and good morning. Yeah, we were uh, very pleased to see that our we received our full patent grant on uh, December 6th. That was a process that started uh, a little over two years ago. We filed our um, initial provisional patent in September 2020, and we continued to work through the process and brought it to full patent status, and that was awarded in uh, a few weeks ago, December 6th, as I said. Uh, that was a really big moment for our company. It really validated our business model and demonstrated to the market that we were able to take something from a concept on a blackboard right through to actually owning the intellectual property behind the invention. Uh, that is our business model. We are an intellectual property uh, development and commercialization company. We now own the rights to Zengard, which is our antimicrobial coating. Uh, so that was, a, that was a big moment for us. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to the whole team that worked on that. There was a lot of work that went into that. Regulatory, uh, Francis Dubé, he, uh, he basically navigated that for us. And now that we have that, that's behind us. And now we own the rights to this for 20 years, which is great. And it allows us to focus on what we need to focus on, which is the commercialization of the Zengard antimicrobial coating in the marketplace. So it's a, a big a big moment for our company to celebrate. And, and there's 54 pa pa patents, is that correct? There's, there's 54 claims associated with the patent that were granted from the actual uh, compound itself to the application onto um, specific substrates, whether that be polypropylene for masks or HVAC filters, which obviously are two very, very big areas that we're focused on commercializing. So yeah, we got all 54, which was fantastic. And as a next step, now we'll be taking it to global markets, including the US, Europe, a uh, number of countries in Asia. So it's the first step and we expect to get the patents awarded in all those jurisdictions as well. Well, clearly you've been planning for some positive news because it was barely a week later that you announced the successful phase two results of HVAC testing. So are we ready for market in the HVAC sector? Uh, yeah, that was, uh, again, a very, very big moment for us. This is a process that started a year ago right now with the Innovation Solutions Canada Challenge. It was a two-phase challenge. We passed phase one in April of this year where we demonstrated that our coding applied to HVAC filters was efficacious, i.e. it killed pathogens. Uh, we had to demonstrate that it was safe and we had to demonstrate that it was a green solution, that it didn't impact energy requirements. We met all of those in phase one. Phase two was actually demonstrating the technology in a real world environment. So the NRC, the National Research Council of Canada set up a mocked up classroom and, and basically tried to replicate what it would be like with airflow in a classroom space and measuring um, how effective our filters are at removing pathogens from that environment versus an uncoated filter. We got those results uh, in early December and announced those last week and we passed that with flying colors as well. So our coding is a unique, innovative and world-class solution when it comes to improving indoor air quality. A couple of points on that. It works on almost any existing HVAC system. So there's no additional equipment required. So no new air handlers, uh, no uh, additional energy requirements. And we just simply apply our coating to an existing filter and it substantially improves the filtration efficiency with respect to bacteria, viruses, and fungus. So we're really excited about it. And now we're on the path to commercialization. So can you spray this on or do you have to, how do you get the coating onto the filters, uh, Greg? Great question, Tracy. So uh, as part of our build out uh, earlier this year in our commercial facility in Guelph, Ontario, we bought a, an industrial spray system. So we actually take raw uncoated filter media and apply the coating to the surface of that media, then send that media back to 
uh, HVAC filter manufacturers who then turn it into an actual HVAC filter and then we'll sell it through their distribution networks. So it's just so, applied to the existing, sorry, Tracy, it's just applied to the existing raw media. This sounds absolutely revolutionary to me. I mean, immediately, as wonderful as it is for our school system, uh, hospitals. Talk to me about hospitals. <laughs> I mean, with COVID and all the flu uh, issues around the world right now. Yeah, Tracy, that's uh, it, it's a great point. It's 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 schools, it's hospitals, it's uh, commercial buildings, it's factories, anything that has an existing system, regardless of the level of filtration that you currently have within that system, applying our coding improves it a number of notches uh, in addition to the existing filtration capacity. So what you're not only improving the amount of, of uh, bacteria and viruses that get filtered out of the air, it's actually capturing and killing them. So you're substantially reducing it, improving a, a, and creating a much healthier environment with respect to, to the air quality. And so based on my understanding of this, uh, really, there's no reason why every hospital shouldn't be speed dialing you right now to get the ZenGuard coding applied for all of their HVAC filters. Is that correct? So yes, Tracy, um, it will. We're, we're very excited about the commercialization side of this. This will have, it's a simple, elegant solution in that it just requires application of our material to existing filters. In order to remove COVID from the air, you need a MERV-13, which is a very high rated filter. In order to force air through a MERV-13, you have roughly 15 to 20% additional energy requirements. Not only that, it puts additional strain on the air handlers. Our coating will just be applied to an existing filter, so there will be an upcharge in terms of the cost of the filter, but the, uh, the, the groups that will be using this are going to save on the energy costs, the maintenance costs, so it is a very economic solution, um, and that's why it's simply elegant, as we like to say. Well, you heard it here on Investor Intel. Greg, as always, Happy holidays, and here's to an amazing 2023. Thanks, Tracy, to you and yours as well.